Hi you guys, if you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious orange chicken, stay tuned. But before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know that this is in collaboration with another beautiful mama. Her name is Courtney and she is also making a family favorite. So I will let her introduce herself to you guys. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Mama Makes It Happen. My name is Courtney and on my channel you can find lots of cleaning motivation, lots of what's for dinners every week monthly grocery hauls for a large family of eight and lots of inspiration if this is something you like i hope you consider subscribing and checking me out and get done watching this beautiful mama's channel hope to see you soon all right so now we're going to go ahead and start our dish i have three large chicken breasts here that i'm just going to go ahead and cut in half because they are pretty thick once i'm done cutting them in half i'm going to cut them into strips and then cut them into kind of like bite-sized chicken nugget pieces Although I'm using chicken breasts for this recipe, I highly suggest using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That's usually what I use when I make orange chicken. However, you know, you guys, times are still a little bit crazy and meat is kind of hard to come by in certain areas. So I'm using what I have on hand, which is chicken breasts. So this is what your chicken should look like once you're done cutting them up. And I'm just going to simply season with a little bit of salt and pepper and then mix it around so every bit of that chicken can get some of that seasoning. I have a little flour here that I'm going to season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And that is what I'm going to use to um, coat our chicken with. So once we're done lightly coating each piece of chicken with flour, this is how they should look. We're going to go ahead and do a simple shallow fry. Our oil is nice and hot. And we're going to go ahead and cook our chicken, making sure that we fry them all the way through and until they're nice and golden brown. If you're cooking a lot of chicken, you want to make sure that you're frying them in batches. I ended up doing three batches just so I wouldn't run the risk of overcrowding my pan and creating too much steam which is not what you want when you're frying. So while our chicken is continuing to do their thing, we're gonna go ahead and work on our orange sauce. And of course, we're gonna start off with orange juice. About a cup to be precise, you guys know I don't measure like that. <laughs> um, a couple dashes of soy sauce, some minced garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper, some onion powder, some ginger, a little bit, not a little bit, well, a lot of bit of brown sugar. I would start off with maybe a fourth a cup and then add more if I need it. And I added in a little bit of honey and lastly, a little bit of sesame seed oil. I'm going to go ahead and give that a good whisk, making sure that everything is nice and combined. And of course, if you're not new to my channel, I taste my food, you guys. So I'll give, I gave it a taste and it tasted delicious. So I'm showing you guys here because, you know, I don't really measure um, how much sauce that I created for the amount of chicken that I had. And it was a little under two cups. It was about a cup up in three fourths of um, sauce okay so we're going to go ahead and transfer all of that into a saucepan and let it come to a light simmer just like so we're going to go ahead and give that a stir we're going to go ahead and thicken things up as well i'm just going to use a little bit of cornstarch only a spoonful of cornstarch you don't really need a lot and then i'm going to add in some water until it is really soupy just like this if this mixture is too thick and you put it in your sauce, it's going to create um, large clumps in your sauce, okay? So you want it to be really soupy. You're going to pour it in and give it a good mix. We're going to continue to let our sauce simmer for a few minutes, um, making sure that we give it a stir every now and again, and then it'll look like this nice and thick. It looks so good. Now we're going to go ahead and put in our chicken that we fried earlier into the sauce and let everything marry together. Thank you. 
I like to let my chicken simmer in the sauce for a few minutes, not too long, but it allows the sauce to thicken up just a little bit more and it allows that flavor to penetrate that chicken. So because this is a family favorite, I decided to show you guys how I plate my family meals. Um, my son, you know, he doesn't really care how his stuff is plated, um, but my daughter, she loves her chicken on the side. She doesn't want it on top of her rice, so she's pretty particular. My husband is a sauce guy, so I definitely have to make sure that I put a lot of sauce on his plate. And for me, I'm kind of in the middle. I don't like too much sauce, and I also like a pretty plate. So my kids, don't they don't like the frills. They don't like the parsley and the sesame seeds and all that stuff. So I only put that on me and my husband's plate. So that is it, you guys. This is the orange chicken. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Guys, this dish was super easy and super delicious. The start of the show is definitely that orange sauce. I have a picky three-year-old and even she loves this dish, you guys. So that says a lot. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. Thank you so much for clicking and watching. Make sure you go ahead over to Courtney's channel and watch her video as well. And I will see y'all on the next one. Until then, bye.